Okay. Taking a deep breath. Um, and I am back playing the Reddit League. This is, the league is already well underway, in fact. This is the second week. We had the first week in Poland, and now we're in Jordan. And this is a location that I know from one of my practice rounds. In fact, we are in Aqaba. You can see the sea, right? You can see the Red Sea to the south. And you can also see that hospital to our south, which is something that I recognize from my practice rounds in in Jordan as well. So having found this, I will now spend a good two minutes on trying to pinpoint the location. You see that I'm doing this uh, click counting here, um, which is maybe a little bit tedious for you to watch, but I do need that 5k. Um, I am back in the fourth division of the Reddit League. I was in the, yeah, I was in the promotion playoffs last season and I lost the promotion playoff final to a player called Steal This Nick. So for that reason, I'm back in division four with a bunch of really good players. So it gets more difficult all the time. At the same time, I'm also, I feel like I'm getting better as a GeoGuessr. I'm certainly, I think I'm certainly practicing more than I used to for the Reddit League. Um, and that shows. It also showed in the first round in Poland where I already got a perfect score of 25k. Um, got a little bit lucky there. Poland is not easy because when you're in a rural location and you can't find a sign, then um, you're easily a little bit lost. But our seed in the fourth division was all urban for Poland. So that was lucky. And then also I personally had um, in one of the locations, I didn't really know if I was in the right spot and then when the time ran out, I found out that I was indeed. Uh, so that was quite good. Um, now Jordan is actually much easier. You see me here pinpointing. I'm looking at that junction over there where the stop sign is and trying to use that as orientation. <laughs> and while doing that, I miss, <laughs> I'm actually clicking, I'm, I'm, clicking on the wrong lane, which is a little funny, but 5k, so all's well that ends well. Now here we are in on the Jordan Valley Highway. So in Jordan, Jordan is much easier um, to, well, the locations are much easier to find than Poland, I found, because you are on one of three highways, either this one, the Jordan Valley Highway, or the King's Highway that goes through the middle of the country, through the mountains, or the Desert Highway in the east. And if you're not on a highway, then you're in Aqaba, as we were before, or in Amman, the capital, or sometimes uh, you're in Jarash in the northern city. And that's basically all the locations there are. There's a couple of smaller ones, but Really, it's like three cities or three highways. And um, this, for example, is a very unique location. It's south of the Dead Sea. And there's only a couple of spots where you have these farms. And they are very clearly indicated on the map as well um, in green. And then this curve that goes northeast and bends towards the north with a small road that branches off to the north is also very easy to find. So that was um, possibly the easiest of the five locations. Now on to number three and this, well, I think it might have been easy, but I make the wrong decision to go north here. So 
it's the King's Highway, the one in the middle that goes past um, Petra, for example, and a bunch of other archaeological sites. And it also goes, um, yeah, it has like spectacular scenery too. It's actually a very nice, it would be a very nice road to drive, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely a country I would like to visit one day. Uh, but normally you also find, you know, a bunch of signs and a bunch of distance markers by the side of the road that help you pinpoint your location. While right here, I find nothing of the sort uh, of the sort. I'm continuing in this basically northeastern direction. This is a long stretch of straight northeastern or north northeastern road. So if I knew roughly where I was along the highway, maybe this stretch of road could be found. But without any additional indication, it's a bit, um, yeah, it's impossible to go to the map now and look for this. Uh, I think that right around this time, I'm getting a little frustrated already because there's nothing there. The King's Highway, yeah, it's spectacular, but sometimes not that easy. The Eastern Highway, the Desert Highway, um, there you may find yourself in locations which are just impossible to pinpoint because it's on a long straight stretch uh, in the middle of the desert. So you can't really pinpoint. And here I make the decision to cut my losses and go south instead. Um, which as we will see in a couple of moments was the much better decision because, uh, yeah, we have these pillars back there um, to our south and also a bunch of signs. Here, for example, yeah, goodbye municipality of uh, Shabak and then welcome to Petra, I think. And so this yeah, welcome to Petra Development Authority or whatever it is. Um, so Petra, as I said, is one of the archaeological sites along this highway. It's in that town called Wadi Musa. And you could also see Shobak to the north. Um, now I'm, yeah, I'm looking at that northeastern stretch of road that I was on to pinpoint my location. And I'm also looking for this small road that branches off to the east. I find it here. Now I think I'm, yeah, I'm going back north to confirm that, for example, we have that second road to the right, to the east, um, after that curve. And we also have the mosque to the west of the road, to the left. And yeah, we got it. You can see I'm uh, quite relieved to have found this after going into the wrong direction for such a long time. Um, but yeah, I'm making my guess here. And it's another 3k. Uh, another a third 5k, I should say. Um, I'm taking a short break, I think, to concentrate again on the next round. And um, the next round is again on that King's Highway that I mentioned. You can see it's very dry and and brown basically. And that kind of tells you that we are further to the south. Um, Wadi Musa and Petra already is quite far to the south. Um, yeah, so basically in Jordan, as you can imagine, the north is greener 
and more agricultural as well while the south is quite uh yeah it's a desert basically <laughs> and yeah this this kind this kind of brown stones the arid landscape um it's more frequent in the south of the country we have like a big canyon to just our south so that's actually quite a spectacular sight, but the visibility is very, not very good. Here, this is one of the distance markers that I was looking for on the other road. It says 35, which is indeed the King's Highway. And then it also said 381, I think. That's one of the things that I studied about Jordan, um, how long the highways are and what towns are basically at what distance markers and uh, 380 is basically the entire length of the highway so with that information i know already that i am at yeah basically at the point where the king's highway merges with uh, with the desert highway that you see here in the east so it curves over to the east here and merges with the with the highway because I still have a lot of time, I take the time to go down there and confirm that indeed we can see the intersection with the desert highway. <clears throat> yeah, you see the trucks there. This is basically the road that all of the trucks take because it's the only highway that is um, has two lanes along the entire um length of the country so now i'm searching for the exact restaurant that is here to our west um for that purpose i go back south east to see whether the other houses that i see on the map are indeed there and they are some kind of a weather station or whatever it is um and now I have plenty of time for pinpointing again. I'm using the compass here to situate myself exactly relative to that restaurant. And that's four out of five. I am obviously quite happy at this point because well, four out of five is already quite good. I don't expect a lot of people to miss many of these points, but still. Now this is Aqaba again. You can, the palm trees and these streets are very uh, recognizable. You often have uh, street names in Aqaba as well. Here it's Alaktal Street. That's where we came out, that one I can't read. I decide to go south along this bigger street and yeah Akaba is quite easily recognizable and often you actually yeah the you you find many street names as well so that's what I'm looking for here I think I'm not playing this round very well actually I don't even realize that I'm right by the sea here which is why, as you can see, I'm going to the wrong roundabout now, going to this one, um, because it, you know, the road goes to the northeast. And I'm searching for road names here, street names, but I don't find any. Um, maybe getting a little bit frustrated and a little bit tired. There's also the Kempinski Hotel, which, you know, obviously you might be able to find on the map. Plus, you know, if I was thinking very clearly, I would know that it's by the beach. <laughs> but I'm going to another wrong roundabout before then going back where I came into that direction and uh, remembering that it went northeast before turning north 
And with that information, I finally find the correct roundabout and the road that we came uh, that we, that we came from and also Alaktal Street, which was our original location. Well, there's two of them. So I have to check out which of the ones um, we started on. Now, finding that little street to the east basically tells me that we are on the northern of the two streets. But, you know, with all the time in the world, I go to check the, the, the name of this small street as well. It's also Alaktal Street, which confirms that we are on the, that we started out on the northern of the two small streets. Now I think I'm doing some uh, click counting again, yes, um, to find my exact location. Now getting a 25k is really good because there's a bonus point that you just, that you, you get for the perfect game and every point really counts. It's only nine games in the entire season, so really a bonus point is worth a lot, which is why I put quite a lot of effort and time in getting this uh, location exactly right. If I do get the 25k, then yeah, I'm guaranteed three points. Of course, I hope that I also win against my opponent. Um, but so far, he or she, they haven't played. So I do not know if I get that additional point from having actually won the game. Um, I'll wait to find out, but I am obviously quite happy with my result on this leg. 